hello guys i welcome you to mature clothings and tutorials so i know it has been a while that i came your way with the fashion tutorials like this we are working in progress okay so that's the reason why we have been away for a while i believe you are having a great time i believe you are having a great time thank you so much if you are an old subscriber thank you so much for recommending our videos sharing our videos to your loved ones uh, and your fashion mates who are looking forward to upgrade their fashion skills and also if you are new to my channel i warmly welcome you i believe you have come to stay you have come to learn you have come to upgrade your fashion skills so in today's video i'm going to show you how to perfectly read your tape measure Tape measure is one of the essential tools in our fashion world, especially when it comes to measuring. Tape measure simply means a flexible ruler for measuring, okay? A flexible ruler for measuring. If I say a flexible ruler, you can see this strap rubber that is uh, in my hand now is flexible, okay? And then this is a ruler, as we already know, it's not flexible as you already know. But before we continue, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you will be notified. And then uh, also share our videos to your loved ones, your colleagues and the people around you who are looking forward to upgrade their fashion skills. The reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of even our online tutors, sometimes the way they mention their uh, measurements, somehow, somehow it's not the right pronunciation. But in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to read your tape measure, pronounce it and even take it from fraction to the decimal. decimal to the decimal pronunciation <laughs> it's not easy to be a teacher though but let's continue okay now when you look at the tape measure it has two faces okay it has two faces we have the inches that is used in measuring yards okay and we have the centimeters which is used in measuring meters okay so uh, these are the two faces of every tape measure if you even look at our ruler you can see that it has the inches part and it has the centimeters part as well so now there are some markings if you look tolerant to our tape measure you will see some small marks okay from big number you see some small marks these are the marks that if you know how to read it will be very beneficial for you in everywhere you go everywhere you go so now let's get into the reading okay now this is our point zero let me say this is our point zero if you look from this zero point which is exactly uh, the metallic part of the tape measure through to number one you can see there are some markings but because of this part there is a uh, metal here i will not like to remove it and so if you look at uh, this part of the metal uh, because it is being covered it is being covered so i'm going to illustrate everything that is here so when you look through the from this point to this part it's called one and in between from one two three the in between from one to two there are some marks everywhere okay the same applies to so these are the marks that we are going to talk about to see uh, their names so when you look at my illustration here you can see that i have written one fourth, one over two, three over four. What does it mean? If you look on your tape measure, you will see exactly what I have done here. Okay, so now this line, these are the lines we are going to call. Measurement is all about space, okay? From here to here, that's the, uh, the space that occupied this zone, okay? So from here to here, it is called one eight, okay? This place is called one over eight, okay? We did not write it, so we are going to write it as uh, time goes on. and. If you look the next line i have written the number down which is one over four the next line is going to be three over eight okay and then the next line is going to be one over two then the next line is going to be five over eight the next line is going to be uh three over four and then the next line here is going to be seven over eight and then the next line is going to be the big number which is number one okay now what are these number standing for from here to here is one eight okay it means from here to here is going to be two eight but we don't use two eight in our pronunciation when it comes to measuring so it's going to be one fourth one eight what does it mean one eight simple means one space that has been divided into eight places it's simple as that okay so let's count the space for this small size one two three four five six seven and eight okay so from here to here is one eight from here to here is one eight from here to here is one eight it goes on goes on like that so from here to here is one eight from here to here is going to be two eight but we don't use it so from here to here is going to be three eight as you can see which is the three spaces out of the eight spaces okay it goes on like that it goes on like that then we reach uh five eight which is the five spaces one two three four and five space so you write it here and then uh, this is going to supposed to be six eight but we don't use 6 8 in measurement so we are going to move on to 7 8 which is the seventh space of one inch 
I believe you have understand this illustration. So now that we are getting this mark, we, let's see it on our tape measure. So on our tape measure, you are going to see um, the space here, from here to here, is the same as 1 8. Because of this uh, ion, let me start it from the 1, okay? So from here to here is uh, 1 8, from here to here is 1 over 4, from here to here is 3 8, from here to here is 1 over 2, which is also known as half inch, and then from here to here is going to be 5 8, from here to here is going to be 3 over 4, which is also known as 3 quarters. And then from here to here is going to be 7, 8. And then from here to here is going to be an inch. So this inch from here to here is the same as from here to here. From here to here, they are all in inches counting and reading to the number 60. Okay, so now that we have understand this line, 0 to here is 1, 8. So we are going to write our 1, 8 over here. Okay, and we are going to write... 1 over 4 here, okay, and then the next is going to be 3 over 8, the next is going to be 1 over 2, then we move to 5 over 8, the next is going to be 3 over 4, and then the last but not the least is 7 over 8. So all these over over numbers that we have here is called fractions, okay, it's called fractions, and then I don't normally use these fractions when it comes to my measurements. I normally use the decimals. So, what will be the decimal number for 1 over 8? The decimal number for 1 over 8 is going to be 0 0.125. Okay? 0 0.125. All right? Which is the same as this number. So, this number on your tape, okay, if you see any first line to this line, is the same as 0. 0 0.125 okay so this uh, 1 over 4 which is this mark also known as uh, quarter of an inch here this line is called quarter of an inch or 1 over 4 which number do we call in decimal the number we call in decimal is 0 0.25 okay 0 0.25 all right so this is going to be also called 0 0.25 all right and then we, when we come to this 3 over 8 or 3 8 uh, which is the third line just after a big line okay it is uh, called 0 0.375 okay sometimes i do call it uh, 0.3 okay if you hear me saying 0 0.3 is this particular number you are seeing here all right you just this number you are seeing here. All right. So the next one, which is one over two, is zero point five or zero point fifty. I mean to say, or it, you can call it zero point five. All right. Okay. So we will move to the five over eight, which is this line, which is this line showing on your tape here. Okay. I believe you are seeing it. I believe you are seeing it. This mark you are seeing here. Five over eight is called. 0 0.625 okay or you can also call it uh, 0 0.6 okay so if you hear me mentioning any of these numbers that that is what it means in fraction okay so copy this copy this copy this and keep this one okay so that anytime uh you pound on it, you'll be able to read your tape measure. So far, if you are learning something from this particular video, do well to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell, so that whenever I upload any video, you will be notified. And now let's continue. When we move to this line before the two, which is the three quarter, okay, three over four, it is called 0 0.75, okay? It is called 0 0.75. This is the number, or uh, normally it is called 0 0.75, or, you can also call it 0 0.7 okay but before we get to the last one this one too can be called uh, 0 0.2 okay 0 0.2 some people do call it 0 0.2 but it's not proper anyway it's not that proper it's but we can still uh, understand from this point of uh, pronunciation okay so the last but not the least uh, uh, 7 over 8 is also called 0 0.875 okay 0 0.875 or you can also call it 0 
0.8. So I believe you have fully understand your tape measure. So if you have learned anything from this particular video, do well to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you will be, be notified, okay? So we are going to copy it here. So 0 0.375, okay? This one, so for 0 0.5, this is going to be called 0 0.625. Okay, cut out is going to be called 0 0.75. All right, and then this one uh, is going to be called 0 0.875. Okay, so this is how to read your lines. Okay, you can read it in fraction or you can read it in decimals. This is how to read your tape as a pro. So do well, guys, to subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you will be notified. This one, this one is being illustrated for this one. So when we go on, does the numbers change? No. So if we pass any number, you are just going to pick the number, the number that we just passed, which is, in this case, we have one inch, okay? So if you can write one, one eight, or one, one, two, five. I believe you understand. So when it comes to this line two, you pick the number one, okay? One over four, or one point two five, okay? It's the same thing, it's the same thing. So you continue like that. Any number here, so this place is going to be one, uh, three, eight, or you can call it, 1.3 or 1.375 okay it's the same way here you pick the number one uh one over two or 1.5 or 1.50 okay and then the next one is going to be uh one by eight okay or 1.625 or 1.6 all of them are the same okay so it goes on 1.304 uh, also known as 1.75 okay then the next one is going to be 1.78, 1.78, or we are going to call it 1.875 or 1.8. And then you jump to the next number. So it continues like so. This is going to be 2.18 uh, or 2.125. It goes on like that, like that. So, guys, if you have derived uh, anything from this our video, do well to subscribe to our channel and ensure that you turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you will be notified. And also do well to be part of our upcoming fashion upgrade course, okay? In this course, you are going to learn many things about fashion from the very beginning, which is from the basic to true, intermediate, and to advanced. And also, we are going to proceed to masters. So do well to be part of our uh, upcoming fashion upgrade courses, okay? It's going to be consistent. We are still working on things, and we are waiting for uh, the machines to arrive for our physical class. It is going to be soon announced, okay? So do well to be part of our upcoming upgrade courses. You can see the fire showing on your screen right now. So be part of it by sending me a hashtag uh, on I am interested or I'm interested. You will be added to our waiting list where you will receive a discount immediately the class comments. So thank you so much for being part of our channel. Remember, upgrade is a must. See you in our next video. Thank you and have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.